and that can't be right. I mean, that's pretty wild. The back of that thing is pulling in. All right, we got the serious solar panels here and they're bifacial. So we're gonna do a little test to see what we can get off just the rear of the panels. Basically, we're gonna lean them down and lay them on the ground. And even with these conditions that we have right now, I'll go ahead and show you that. And of course, even with these you know, partially uh, cloudy conditions right now, not the best in the world. Basically, we're gonna see what these panels can get when I just lay them down on the ground. First, I'll just show you what they're getting from this side just to show you I have an idea of where they're at. And those two panels on the end are still shaded a little bit, so it's not gonna be perfect, but let's go inside and see what we got. So that array is basically on PV2. And as you can see right there, pulling in about 1.2 kilowatts, 1.1 kilowatts, 900. So it just depends on how the shading is at the moment. So right now, you know, with partial shading and then the cloudy conditions and the sun's coming back out and all that, it's pulling somewhere between 900 and 1200. So let's just say a thousand watts we're pulling in right now. So it's about 40% efficiency for these 415 watt panels. Let's go ahead and flip them over and see what we get just from the backside. I think the maximum you get is a little over 100 watts and that's uh, perfect conditions, ideal conditions. You know, when they did their testing, you know, I'm sure we're not gonna get anything close to that because you know, it's definitely not perfect conditions, but let's see what we get. All right, let's go ahead and flip them over. Twelve fifty six, as you can see, all the panels basically just upside down. Not completely covered on the other side, but you know, hey, don't like an inch or two off the ground on a piece of PVC pipe. As you can see, there's some good looking panels on the back. Go ahead and go inside and see what we're pulling. So the bifacial part of the panel, just the rear, is pulling in thirteen hundred watts. I mean, that is wild. That is crazy. That is doing really good. Let's go check it out. So definitely right now the sun did come come out just a, for a second here while we're doing this test. Definitely not the perfect angle because they're kind of angled back, you know, away from the sun just a little bit. The sun is kind of right up in the sky, but it's just a little bit off with the angle, but still pulling in 1300 watts. Let's go ahead and do the calculations on that to see what we're getting. So right now pulling in about 216 watts off the rear of each of these panels. I mean, that's definitely above what they're rated for for the bifacial part. And of course, the bifacial is just gonna be reflecting off of something. But if you got a concrete surface or white rocks or snow, that just means the back of these panels are gonna do outstanding. So these things definitely are working good. Let's see what kind of rating or efficiency that is. I think they're only rated for 536 or 539 watts. Let's go ahead and see what that is. So basically the rear of these panels is only rated for maximum ideal conditions, 124 watts. So I don't know how they do that testing, if they're testing it directly or if it's still indirect and it's coming from, you know, a reflection of the sun off the ground or whatever surface they're using. I'm not exactly sure about their testing, but as we can see well above that, you know, when you're facing them to the sun, you know, and just laying them on the ground, getting 216 watts, and only rated for 124 max under ideal conditions. So of course, right here where I'm at, I don't have ideal conditions. I don't have the concrete and stuff to set them on, on this side of the house to see what the reflection would be and have them off the ground for the bifacial portion. But, you know, you can tell, you know, they're probably gonna pull in that 124 watt, you know, at the right conditions if they're pulling in 200 or so when they're facing the sun. So the cells, you know, for the back, the bifacial portion, experiment, you know, I'll say it passed, and this thing, under ideal conditions, is definitely going to pull in over 500 watts, you know, from the front and the back of the panel. So you have the right setup, and of course, on a good day of sun. So what's the next experiment you guys want to see with this? Of course, I'm going to be building a mount to go ahead and mount these things on, probably right here on the side of this shed or over my dog or something like that, like we talked about before. So that's going to be coming up soon. So if you're interested in that, or... If you need me to do any other kind of testing with these panels, hey, let me know down in the comments below because we've got plenty coming out. We're gonna be running this 12K with the building. You know, it's gonna run that mini split, run all my equipment, gonna do a lot of testing, gonna try to charge my car from it. And of course, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I have affiliate links below. I got a $50 off coupon, Rodney Hunt 50. 
You know, you can use that at checkout for any orders over $500 and get $50 off your order. So if you want to pick some of these serious panels up, hey, go ahead and click that link below. And as always, I do appreciate everybody that made those purchases because it helps out the channel. I can get more stuff, make more projects, do more builds, and maybe help more people out to become more self-reliant and have some solar for emergency. So think about hitting that subscribe button and thanks for watching.